suppose you have a quadratic equation, x squared minus 8x plus 12 equals 0. Normally when we do a factoring problem, you're trying to find two numbers that multiply to 12 and add to 8. Those two numbers will be the solutions to the quadratic. Students spend a long time doing guess and check, which can be frustrating because one hopes that math gives a precise way of solving questions where you don't have to guess. Instead of starting from factoring the product, I start from the sum. If I have two numbers whose sum is 8, then they need to be the same distance away from their average. So the two numbers are 4 minus u and 4 plus u for some unknown u. These two are supposed to multiply to 12, but when you multiply this, it's beautiful. The middle terms cancel, and I need to get a u so that 16 minus u squared is 12. That comes when I find a u squared to be 4. And that comes when I have a u which is either plus or minus 2. Whichever one of those you take up there, you will get that the two numbers are 2 and 6. And those are the two numbers that add to 8 and multiply to 12, with no guessing. I've been developing these daily challenge lessons that I've been using to teach middle school students mathematics in more thoughtful ways. And one night while I was coming up with the plan of how to teach quadratic equations, I accidentally discovered that you can solve quadratic equations in this really simple way. I was dumbfounded. How can it be that I've never seen this before and I've never seen this in any textbook? So then I started digging. I wanted to know what the Babylonians did. I also went to look at the work of Diophantus, of al Khwarizmi, the 15th century mathematicians, and the work of Indian mathematicians. And I found out that actually, the key parts of this method had been discovered hundreds of years ago and thousands of years ago, and anyone could put them all together. This method is direct and intuitive and lets you think through every step.